Hi class, welcome. We are back to our reciprocal functions. I'm Professor Steele. Today we are going to look at our secant function. Recall that reciprocal functions are always one over the function. So our secant function happens to be the reciprocal of a cosine function. I want you to be thinking about what does this look like visually. So let's go graph it on Desmos. So here is our cosine function. What we are going to now do, recall that we have a period of 2 pi. We have our peak at 0 and at 2 pi. We have our minimum at pi. We are going to reciprocate. So all these output values are going to be reciprocated. What is the reciprocal of 1? What is the reciprocal of negative 1? What is the reciprocal of 1 again? Those you should be able to think about as being the same value. However, as we move along this curve, what happens as we take the reciprocal of 0.5? Yes, it happens to be 2. The same thing with the reciprocal of negative 0.5. So hopefully you are capturing a visual that looks something like this. Our values as we moved along this curve, as we reciprocate these output values, become greater. But what happens when we get to the value of, as my values get smaller and smaller and approach zero, and I reciprocate those values, they become larger and larger. However, can we reciprocate zero? You're correct in saying the answer is no. So we happen to have asymptotes wherever we had horizontal intercepts in the cosine function. And we'll look back to look at that as a function so you can see that. So now that we've looked at our visual on Desmos, we know cosine of theta, because it's in the denominator, cannot equal zero. So we happen to have vertical asymptotes that are occurring when cosine theta equals zero. And we know from our past that cosine theta equals zero at pi over two, three pi over two, in fact, any two pi plus pi over two. So we happen to have our vertical asymptotes there, recall that, and that is one of the properties of our reciprocal of cosecant theta. Hopefully we will see you soon for the next reciprocal functions. I hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching and please click and like our Advantage logo.